Hi there! In this Messenger Minute, I'm going to be walking you through the steps of creating one of these rooms in Google SketchUp. So today, in this first video, we're only going to be creating the actual room and not any of the furnishings. Okay, the furnishings will come later. But today, we're going to be working on that 12 foot by 12 foot by 8 foot box uh, and how to get that set up appropriately. So first of all, we're going to use Google SketchUp for schools. So when you open Google SketchUp for schools, you will see this interface. So we're going to create a new document and we're going to use the template simple template feet and inches. So when we start, this is the screen we'll be presented with. So the first thing that we're going to do uh, is create the floor. Okay. Uh, and we're going to do a couple of things before we start that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to views and I'm going to change this to parallel projection. Uh, and I'm going to change it to ISO view. So we're going to get something like this shape. Okay, and then you can close that. And we're going to start by creating that box. And that box is going to be 12 by 12 feet. So we're going to use our simple rectangle tool and we start with one single click and I pull out this rectangle a little bit, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to pull it out and then I'm going to type in my dimensions, 12 foot and for foot, that is the apostrophe symbol, comma, 12 foot. You'll see it down in the bottom right corner appearing as you type and then hit enter. So remember, we need to put the dimensions, we need to put the units, and we need to separate the two dimensions by a comma. Okay, so you should end up with a rectangle like this one. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my floor some depth. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the push-pull tool right here. And I'm going to create a new surface above this one that's six inches higher. So in order to do that, rather than moving this surface, what I want to do is I want to tap the control button and you will see a little plus appear next to my cursor. Okay, no control, control. So you'll see the plus. So once that plus appears, that means it's going to, rather than move the surface that I'm clicking on, it's going to create a new surface. So when I click it, I'm going to do a single click. I'm going to drag it up. And then I'm going to type in my unit and that unit will be six inches and the inches is the quotation mark sign. So we're going to type in six inches and that's going to lift this up six inches and hit enter. So now we have a floor that has depth, six inches depth on the side here. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to put in our two back walls and we're going to make those eight feet tall. So for this, we're going to use our offset tool and the offset tool will create uh, an inner or an outer line that follows the shape of the object that we select. So we're going to use the offset tool and I want to make sure that this floor is highlighting when I go over it. So I'm going to do a single click and I'm going to start to pull that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it in six inches. Again, you'll see my units appearing in the bottom right corner and enter. So that's going to give me a six inch set of walls all the way around the room. But I don't want it to go all the way around. In fact, I only want it to go on these back two walls. So in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line with my pencil tool from this corner to the outside. Now, if I zoom in, you'll see that this one should be on the red axis. If I move it over here, it's going to not be straight. As long as I keep it clicked on that red axis, I know that this line is going to be straight. So now I'm going to do the same thing over here, but this one is going to be on the green axis. So you want that to be clicking into the green axis and all the way to the outer edge. So now that I've connected those two lines, I can switch to my eraser tool 
and I can erase this front. So you should have something that looks like this. Two back walls and none on the front. So now we're going to raise up these back walls by eight feet. So again, using our push-pull tool, push-pull tool, and tapping our control button, you'll see that little plus appear there. You should have the little plus next to your cursor. We are going to click once to begin. We're going to pull this upward, and we're going to tap eight. Again, the apostrophe symbol for feet. Eight feet. Enter. And this is going to give us our 12 by 12 room with an eight foot back wall. So this is the basis for our 3D model. This is going to be our isometric room. So this is only the beginning. This is much more like a template. From here, we can start to add our furnishings. Uh, we can add a door, we can add windows, we can add flooring, uh, we can add color to our walls. This is the raw, bare template. Okay, uh, so let's at least add a, a color here uh, and maybe some flooring. So let's go into our materials window and we're going to browse materials. And I will give my walls just a color. So I'm going to switch colors here. And I'll give them some color. I'm also going to give a darker color to my end walls here. And before I add any flooring on here, I'm just going to create a little bit of flooring here. So I'm going to make a, a slight rise up in the floor here. So again, using my push-pull tool, I'm going to tap the control button. And I'm going to click once to begin. And I'm going to pull this up 0 0.5 inches. And that measurement is our, again, quotation mark symbol. You can see it in the bottom right corner. Make sure that control button was pushed. We should have a little plus there. And what we're going to end up with is a thin layer on top of our floor. And that's going to act like our flooring, our hardwood or rug or whatever it is that we're going to put down on the floor here. So now we can come back and for this one I'll add a wood floor. There we go. Now you see that our edges didn't get painted, so I'll just come back and paint those edges as well. And here we have the basis for our isometric room. From here on out, you can customize this however you would like. Uh, you can outfit it with furniture, curtains, doors, windows, whatever it is that you like. So give it a try. Thank you.